This is uh, Aquacrops test system. This one's uh, it actually has water in it, but it's cycling at the moment. And uh, as you can see, you've got custom-made beds at 2.8 meters long by 1200. What's special about them? Is not only they're thick and very durable, but they have outlets that have been built into them, all custom done. So that's a 90 mil screw cap. So it can easily be pulled out and underneath there's a 25 mil and uh, the idea behind it is that unscrewing this 90 mil here allows you to connect bed to bed so you could have 10 20 however many you want beds all connected together just by simply unscrewing the 90 mil and you could have another another tank on a stand right next to it here and just plumb them together very quickly and easily um, with no big dramas, the uh, strength is always as everything. Like this is holding a ton of weight, water and rocks. So the siphons were put in with the 25 mil outlets right behind the 90 mil. The 100 mil shield then stops all the pressure of the rocks pushing on this. It'll also act as a, a guard if that you did connect them together for water to free flow between tank to tank. So. As you can see the tanks are very thick, so it's 7 to 8 mils of food safe plastic. The frames have been made, all custom made for this bed. Everything's high tensile screws and that kind of thing, it's very strong. Uh, as you can see it's uh, braced off here and there, so very durable, very strong. The, um, this tank system is going to be hybrid, a hybrid system. So at the moment it's full of um, volcanic rock, as you can see, and it connects to a greenhouse next door to this one, over there. So we'll go and have a quick look at that greenhouse. So this is the other side, larger tank. Hybrid system is basically meaning that you have a grow bed with gravel connected to a grow bed with a floating raft. So this one's going to have a floating raft system which I'll update shortly. This video is basically to show you the tanks that I had custom made. As you can see, lots of corrugation in the bottom for strength. Corrugation on the sides. There's, uh, this one holds about 1400 litres. So it's a fair bit of weight. Same deal. All custom made with the 90 mil little outlet there and the 25 right next to it. These ones have been plugged off because this is just going to be a, a tank that won't flow anywhere else. A pump comes out of this tank into a 4,000 litre tank just sitting over there. So 4,000 litre tank empties into the first greenhouse where the gravel grow bed is and then that one empties into this tank which will have a floating raft which uh, most of the time you see them with polystyrene holes cut in them and plants growing in little pots. Uh, this system is going to be a little bit different to that. The floating raft that's going to be used is again going to be custom made. I don't like styrofoam, don't trust the chemicals in it, and that kind of thing. It's also pretty hard to get, flimsy and, and um, whatnot. So the next update I'll show you the floating raft system, which is in the process of being knocked together. It's, uh, got nature moving into on the 90 mil outlet oh, a bit of a spider in there anyway it's just a bit of an update of these systems that have purposely been built so we can connect like the other greenhouse I showed you 10 grow beds say in a row and also the floating raft system we can connect however many we want as the fish grow in the tank 4,000 litre tanks reasonably large as the fish grow they make more waste, so you need more grow beds. You just got to keep adding grow beds. So this way, it's a quick fix to just be able to knock on another grow bed and uh, you know keep the plants and the fish happy. So this system is basically, you know, it's it's only just been tinkered with now. It's uh, not 100% finished, as you can see. Pipes need cutting, things like that. But uh, this is just the test system, aquacrop test system, and uh, we've tried a few other systems but nothing seemed to make sense to be able to go commercial and, and stagger these kind of things together 
after you know mucking around a bit, having them custom made uh, was just the way to go. Um, just to get exactly how how I want it, depths and strength and, and all that kind of thing. So yeah, just a short update on uh, the tanks we're putting in. I just wanted to do this update before we fill them all up with water and, and have plants in there and everything because it's going to be pretty hard to see anything. So you see again, still frames, all really strong, sturdy, and uh, yeah, so quick update for aquaquat.